Matthew 24 and 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Call halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kurash, the bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, which taught me this truth. Salutations to all the high king pushing his word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, but the word and he calls Jesus and Racha Kurash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird. The scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm Brother Yadiah from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back at you with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, Staying Down. You see, in... Um, Hey, the title is plain, man, but it's it's uh weighty. And 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 that's the um as we read in that uh first verse that we read at Matthew 24, that, that's the name of the game is staying down and enduring. You see, this is um the world of salvation, man, in a whatever trial or difficulty or affliction, which they is a test of our faith, whatever we encounter is about cleaving unto the Lord and not letting go. <laughs> and asking the strength to get through that, man, and ultimately hoping unto the end. That's what this is about, man. You see, it's not about having fun and you being this and that. No, we've been called to be disciples or learners, students of Yahweh Shai. And they, as it says right here, followers of Philippians 1 and 29, for unto you it is given in behalf of Hamashiach, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. You see, so uh, this this truth isn't about having fun and being that guy. No, it's about patiently waiting on the salvation of the Lord and bearing your cross and uh, deny yourself, man. But this is a uh, Sirach, the second chapter. We're going uh, really the whole chapter. But um, and we're going to get into it. This Sirach chapter two and verse one, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble, right? So whatever you go through, whatever trial, whatever affliction you, 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 you're going through, don't just be so quick. Oh, man, it's too hard for me. Let me give up. No. Because hey, the Lord is testing you. Hey, instead of quitting, the scriptures give you the answer. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, right? You get closer to the heavenly father. Hey, um, the Lord will humble you through affliction or trial, whatever you're going through. It bring you down so that you have nothing to do but trust in him. And a hey, Romans the fifth chapter, your faith end up growing. It says for gold. It's like verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Right. Whatever the Lord, um, whatever trial he pushed, whether he took your woman, whether he took your job, whether he took your vehicle, whatever it may be, made you broke. Don't just give up. Nah, man. Hey, 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 call all y'all by Shemel Shai. At least I still had his faith. Let me keep going. So why do y'all by Shemel Shai? It says, for gold is tried. It's like, let me hit that last part. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a little state. It says, for gold is tried in a fern in a fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. You see, so the Lord is going to prove you via these afflictions, via these trials to, hey, to prove your faith. See if you are really down with him, you see. Hey, Yahusha, he called us um no longer servants, but friend. In a book of a in a, in a book of Sirach, it tells you to prove a friend. Because well, uh, hey, one friend, hey, he's a friend and prosperity on occasion. <laughs> you see? The Lord is looking for the true worshipers. You see? It says, verse 6: believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall, right? Hey, we've been called to this ministry, we've been called to this truth, this faith. And hey, 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 it's only one way out, and that's hey, enduring unto the end. May Yahweh Shai keep us in that number. You see? May we be a part of that number, and may Yahweh Shai keep us. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, it's like ye that fear the Lord, look for, hope for good and look for everlasting joy and mercy. And, um, I want to hit this too, man, because on the road of salvation, you know, on your walk in this path, a, a, the wisdom is going to try you before it can trust you. And um, as it's going to go into, you had individuals, a, even within my 
time in his faith, which hasn't been that long, you know, an uh, individual that came in when, uh, around the same time I came in, as the scripture is going to say, he cast it off. And he's no longer teaching. He's no longer a part of the camp. You see? But we're going to go into it really quick. This uh Sirach 6 and 18. It says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thy old age. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. Labor. It says, For thou shalt not toil much and laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned, and a disciple goes into um to learn a student. Right? So it says that, that wisdom is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without, without understanding will not remain with her. And you had individuals that taste of these heavenly things, but they cast them off. May Abinawa keep us. It says, um, verse 21, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her off from, cast her from him, or it be long. You see, and you have individuals that in partaking of this. And instead of looking at the blessing that the Lord and pulled you out of his word and revealed himself unto you, well, they, instead of them looking at that, they look at that, oh, it's a burden. Oh, I lost my life. I, I can't do this. No, nigga, you found your life, man. And that's the, and, that, and that's the and that's the fact, man. Hey, before this truth, I didn't have a life. The life that I thought I lived was a it was in gross darkness. A spirit of this world. A, uh chill a uh, child of disobedience, you know, a hey, with the wrath of the Lord abiding on me, you know, may a hey, may I receive that mercy, you know. But before and I didn't have no life, man. But actually coming in, you know, the Lord revealing himself unto me and then you know, giving me my portion of faith, I understand my purpose. You see? But it says, Psalm, it says, verse 21, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, right? Y'all, this is a burden. It's true, it's a burden. It's this and that. Nah, nigga, it's, no, this day, this is our life. Our life is here with Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, hey, you still have a desire for this world. It was a punk ass spirit, man, because this world is mowed out, is a, is, is filthy, polluted. But you won't part of it. It says she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial and he will cast her off from from here ere it be long. Right. Here it is. Hey, hey, hey. First off, we, we, we're going to be tried until the end, until we see the end of our uh, faith, which is the salvation. So until we see how was I, hey, hey, there's going to be a continual refining, uh, refining process. You see, but hey, you have individuals that can cast off the chastening. They, 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 I don't want to do that. They basically turned their back on the Lord. It says, "Ere it be long, right?" It says, "For wisdom, before it even be long, they didn't already gave up." And hey, that's stay. That's not the attitude, man. You stay down through thick and thin. It says, "For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifesting to many." Give ear, my son. Receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters, and thy neck into her chain. Apostle Paul. He alluded, <laughs> he said, we're prisoners of hope, you know, a yoke fellers, you know, but it says, bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Right. And, and, and Jake, you know, oh, I got to get disciplined. I can't do this and that. They think it was a bad thing. No. Romans, the second chapter, the goodness of the most high leadeth thee to repentance, roughly paraphrasing. You see. It says, um. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds coming to her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. Right. Cleave unto the Lord, man. It says, for at the last thou shalt find her rest and shall be turned to thy joy. Right. And the scriptures tell us that there a, a remain if a rest for the people of God. Let us therefore labor to enter into that rest. And what's the labor? This well doing, man. And we've been called. So hey, we must continue to plow, man. We can't take our hand uh, off of the uh, plow, man. No turning back. No giving up. No, no fainting. It says coming to, to like verse 27. No, no, no. We use that uh, 29. It says, then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee and her chains as a robe of glory. For there is a golden ornament upon her and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor and shall put her about thee as a crown of joy. And ultimately at the end, 
of um uh, a, 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 a thirsting after righteousness, seeking the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, which bringeth unto a kingdom. Hey, we're going to receive those crowns at the Lord's, at the hand of the Lord, you see. But hey, we have to stay down, man, and endure these afflictions, endure the hard times, of course. Hey, the servant is not greater than his master, man. Yahweh Shai says he was acquainted with sorrows, man. His, his life wasn't about his own will. No, he came to do the will of the Heavenly Father to fulfill what was written of him, to be a sacrifice for his people. Hey, it says um, Yahweh Shai, he laid down his life. I believe it's in 2 Corinthians like 5, but hey, it says he laid his life down for us. We ought to lay our life down for the brethren. I believe it's in uh, 1 John as well. You see? And individuals that don't have that mindset, man, they selfish and they lack understanding. This Matthew 10 and 22, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Right. Of course, you're going to be hated in a wicked world that's uh, a under the uh, anti-Messiah spirit. And hey, all that live godly in Hamashiach, I wish I shall suffer persecution. It's as simple as that, man. Hey, hey, you you trying to do right in a world that's 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 a. Hey, over, has a superfluity of wickedness. Hey, that's just what's gonna happen, man. And this is this, this is um it's a little two part little thing. Is a hey, the spirit that's been being rebuked and reproved in Israel now is that GMS ruined my life. Nah, nigga, GMS. Hey, hey I speak on my own behalf. Hey, the, the men of the great millstone, starting with the elder apostles and the men that have taught me that I've been nurtured under, that the Lord has set up. Hey, they showed me my life, man. The water y'all by Shemel Shai. It says, verse 23, but when they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Verse 24, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. And they, Yahweh Shai, his life was acquainted with sorrows and grief. People a, hated him, reviled him, spoke evil of him. A, 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 they, they murdered him ultimately. He wasn't living his joyous life. He wasn't taking trips, balling out in the Roman Empire. You know, he wasn't rich, balling out, you know, taking trips, you know, doing. No, man, he was doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Same thing we must do. <laughs> it says the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he shall be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house bells above, how much more should they call them of his household, right? And we're the believers of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And hey, this world, they're going to be against it, man. It says the uh, the righteous is an abomination to the wicked, and, uh, and the wicked is an abomination to the righteous, roughly paraphrasing. Two and two don't go together, you see? First Peter 1 and verse 13, it says, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, right? You got to be mentally strong, man. You can't, um, you can't uh, faint in your mind, man. You can't uh, give up. It says, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober, you know, be sound in your mind and hope to the end for the grace. Right. Hope to the end. Have that expectation that the Lord's going to come save you and to have to de deliver you until the end. What's the end? When Yahweh Shai comes back, when those chariots are beaming up his elect, Yahweh runs his arm on that number. It says, for the grace that is to be brought up. Bro, until you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And how is he going to be revealed? From the heavens. You see? So we're to hope until the end. Not hope for five years and then go back into the world. No. Not hope for 10 years and go back into the world. Not hope until the very last moment, then give up and then try and, you know, cash in or, you know, with them previous works before you took up. No, man. Hey, once you've been called, a hey, hey, to the end. And then first and foremost, this lesson is to myself. And may Abba now, may Abba give me the, um, hey, hey, hold me to it. You know, may he keep me. It says, um, 1 Peter 1 and verse 5, it says, Who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness. Through manifold temptations and they, 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 while on that path, you're going to go through different trials, different testings, different afflictions. But what does it say? It says greatly rejoice, you know, ultimately because hey, the Lord is dealing with you and that chastening, although it don't feel good, it works for us. You may go through a lesson, you might lose something in this world and 
You can either, two things can happen. You can either grow bitter and be like, man, the Lord took my woman. I'm done. I'm de or you could be like, damn, the Lord took my woman. What did the Lord want me to do? Damn, I did love that woman too much, but hey, she gone now. Now, I'm not, I'm not co as connected as I was to this world. The scriptures do say this world is going to pass away. And if I would have been with her, I probably would have been in love with this world. So, the what I now, because you know best. You got to think about what the Lord is teaching you, man. And instead of being hardened and uh, moved by these afflictions, no, stay steadfast and understand what the Lord is trying to teach you. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise, honor, and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Mashiach. So going through these different testings, you know, whatever afflictions that you go through, proving your faith. Ultimately, when Yahweh he comes back, hey, he, hey, he can, hey, he, man, it can be found unto glory. It's good to say, abide in him, and I believe it's in First John as well. Abide in him, so that we can. He comes, speaking of Yahweh who the world and he calls Jesus. We may not be ashamed. It says, "Whom having not seen, ye love, and and though and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory." receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls man so the end of our faith is a that deliverance the new bodies man no hey all all of it it says of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that shall come unto you you see so wait man hey, hey, we hey, going back to topic he that endure to the end the same shall be saved don't grow be hardened or be um it's like don't harden your heart through whatever trial. Don't get um bitter, you know. Hey, stay in the Lord, abide in Him through thick and thin. This First Thessalonians three and two and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of the Most High, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Mashiach, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, right? We have to remain steadfast, firm. Satan gonna come and try and shake your faith up. Don't family member die. Mm, Lord, put a spirit on, on, on your girlfriend. Now she acting funny. She leave you. Damn, you just, shit hurt. It's in the flesh, shit weak. But hey, the scriptures, hey, the succor, wisdom of the scriptures say, I'm gonna have a hundredfold. It's all, it's all good. I'm gonna back to anyway. You know, it's all good. Lord knows best. Lord took her away. Boom. Hey, Lord, give me another one. It is what it is. If not, it is what it is. Patient wait on salvation of the Lord. Kingdom right around the corner anyway. It says that no man should be moved by these afflictions for you yourselves know that we are appointed there unto, right? And following the Lord, hey, you're going to live a life. You're going to be tried. You see, <laughs> that's just what it is, man. And, 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 and don't be offended at those trials, man, but hey, embrace them. Hey, uh, the scriptures tell you, um, abhor not the chastening of the Lord. Why? Because just as a, as, as a father would chasten his son, so is the Lord doing with us. Remember what the Lord is doing, man. He's uh, molding us into those perfect, uh, into that perfect man, into that perfect day. It's a continual process. You just can't um, harden up. Duty. You can't be uh, hearted up through these afflictions, man. It says that no man should be moved by these afflictions for yourselves. Know that we are appointed there unto. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we shall suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass. And ye know, for this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter, a hey, Satan, and, and he sent to literally shake, to prove your, your faith, to shake it up. To throw a monkey wrench in and to really see if you're, uh, see if he can overthrow your faith. It says, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain, right? Because you've given up and going back into the world. Then Satan didn't want. Hey, but we are not unto those that draw back unto the perdition, but believe unto the saving of the souls. <sighs> and I want to hit the scripture as well, man, because. Uh, going back on to the you know the earlier topic that we that we touched on, hey, hey of course we're gonna go through things, you know, we we're gonna be purified, we're gonna go through hell, of course, but you're not gonna be in hell 
every day of your life that you've been in the truth, every single day of the life until no, man, that's that's <laughs> that's unbalanced, man. That's unbalanced. This uh, Ecclesiastes seven and fourteen it says, "In a day of prosperity, be joyful." You might have a day when everything goes exactly how you thought you think that you planned it. Everything will fall in point in point. You know, I'm talking about everything to the T. You wake up, damn, it's a beautiful day. The why you about your shy? Man, we got some breath. You was off. You know, got some set up later. You might have hit the weights. You know, hey, everything was perfect. You know, and the Lord give you those days, man. Hey, 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 what son if the Lord? Hey, what son if the father asked him for uh, for some food? It's like what what father if the son asked for food gonna give him a stone? You know. <laughs> Lord, they just go, just go give us just straight complete hell. No, man, the Lord is merciful. As the big brother, the elder Jeremiah say, hey, even a steak, even a garbage can get a steak every now and then. It says, in a day of prosperity, be joyful, right? You had them good days, and they, the scriptures tell us to enjoy them. But in a day of adversity, when shit is hard and you down bad, you may not, you may be broke, down on your last, going through some battles. It says, consider, think about this. The Most High also have set the one over against the other. And Apocrypha says he made, uh, Sirach 33, he made two and two. All the works of the Lord are perfect. So it's a balance to everything. You're not just going to be hella uh, afflicted every day. Always. No, the Lord will give you them breaks. You know, it says, consider the Most High also have set the one over against the other to the end that men shall find nothing after him. The Lord will give you good days and you will have bad days. It's a balance. Nonetheless, you endure and you resort back into the, the into the succor that helps the scriptures. This knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Yeah, how right this out? This was an edifying and, and um, uplifting and comforting video. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Racha Kurash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to Allah. I can push his word with true sincerity and with charity. Shalom. Barakatham. Wa Baba Baal. Kwam Yashallah. Shalom.